Dear white liberals, 28% of black Americans aged 18 to 44 years old are vaccinated in New York. Meaning, the vaccine passports deny over 72% of the black community their services. Since you think voter ID is racist, you must surely think that vaccine passports are as well. But you don't. Instead, you want to demonize everyone who refuses the COVID-19 vaccine. So let me tell you exactly why the black community is the most resistant to this vaccine. Let's go back to a time when the government decided that the blacks would be used as guinea pigs without their knowledge. From 1932 to 1972, the government conducted the infamous Tuskegee experiment on black men in an attempt to understand the effects of syphilis. Participants were told that they were being treated for bad blood. We were lied to. From 1965 to 1966, the government conducted experiments on prisoners, the majority of them being black, to understand the effects of Agent Orange. Prisoners were told that this was simply dermatology research. We were lied to. From 1960 to 1971, the government conducted Cold War radiation experiments on poor black cancer patients in an attempt to gain an understanding on how much radiation the human body could take. Patients were told that this would help cure their cancer. Once again, we were lied to. The list of atrocities and deceit goes on, yet white liberals seem to think that they know what's best for us. The truth is, black Americans have authority over our own bodies, not you. We're tired of being controlled, manipulated, and lied to. The bottom line is this, we truly won't know the effects of this vaccine for at least a few years. After all that we've been through, we are allowed to be skeptical. So my question to you, white liberals, is why are you applauding forced vaccinations on those who don't trust it, on those who come from a lineage of trauma due to dark history? I thought Black Lives Matter.